before we get started, I need to uh, correct something from last week's session. Darren is now going to hold his hazardous waste trailer pickup thing out at the landfill instead of the shop on October 12th. So same time, same place, same day, but different location. So. I would move that we approve the minutes from September 2015. Uh, second that. Secondly, that the minutes from last week. I'll bear say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Okay.
everybody on the board has an interest there. I have two old hangers out there that I hate to lose. I have that orange one I run the shop in. I work on airplanes in there. And I'd hate to lose it, but it's 70 years old and it's not all that great to be. So I have an interest in staying there too, but I can see there's no problem. That, that doesn't change your 9010 grant any if, if you put it off for a while and the county does it or anything? No. That's, how, I mean, that's good for the foreseeable future or what? Well, I don't know how many years. I think they renewed the KDOT's status for 10 years. I don't know when that was renewed. But that grant will stay in 9010 on the runway and the site selection. And if you get any equipment, so you want to stay in the front of the field. Right now, it's 19. I guess I'd like to see Stafford say for sure, yes or no, whether they would interested I don't want to start Trump without talking getting a definite answer from them first but and that was what I left them with is they needed to get with it and get out. Yeah. So we messed around two years now and they need to say yes or no I think first. The thing I see about the current site is there's not as uh, as much land that has to be acquired. Right. And it seemed like that you know we looked at all these sites and there's either irrigation or there's you know and to go out and buy irrigated ground is in my opinion it's going to be pretty pricey and uh, five thousand feet you about need a mile don't you mm -hmm. yes you need a mile because you have to clear zones on either end well, a mile plus is you have your easements on the ends and the King Air requires how many? Well, that's dependent on the company, but the 3,200 feet they had in that drawing is just a real marginal. Mm -hmm. That one company would operate on that. If they were just flying to Wichita, they didn't have to carry any extra fuel. But the other company is, requires at least 3,500. And if you check with aviation insurance brokers, most of the high performance turboprops and the small jets, which would be something like this Citation 10, and there's a lot of these out there flying. They like a 5,000 foot runway with 75 foot wide. And the FAA standards are 75 foot, but that's what would be coming in there. And they have an accelerate stop distance. Say that thing rolls to 150 miles an hour and loses an engine if both engines fail. They slam on the brakes and they can stop at 35,000 feet. That's what they look at. And that's what the insurance carrier is. It used to be about 4,500 and then they upped it to 5,000. But 75 foot, if you get over 5,000, then you have to put 100 foot on. You need about 10 acres of ground. Well, but then you've got your safeties from the center line, too. That's, and you have. Yeah, there's going to be a lot further. It has about a 300 foot width. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have about that's 300 foot width. Yeah, you have, you're going to 300 feet wide total, or 400 feet. I think it's 150 foot offset from the center <coughs> line the structure. You need about 40 acres. I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of land. It's just once you get it laid out and uh, just, you know uh, your safety zone set, you know, and, and where people can still farm up to it to those safety zones. I mean, that's going to be the hard, you know, the, uh, the inconvenience for the landowner, you know, if you're acquiring the land. And I do know an airport that put the runway in and they farm within 300 feet of the end of the runway. But that's just a, an easement out there that they agree they won't stick a tower farm or shed yeah. there or cell tower off the end. And it's a safety zone if something <coughs> runs off the end. Put them down to 
Creek, and then it faded right off the road again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like downtown Kansas City. <laughs> 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 I think we well, get there the by thing down that and run them off in the creek. This whole this whole thing is for air ambulance. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, if you stick with 3,500 feet, I don't I don't know how many jets and turbos are going to be flying in. Right. Just after Canada, I'm, I'm sure. But I think that long here. You know, I think the objective was you know, for an air ambulance. So I'd be curious to see the cost difference between the two, because I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of cost difference between 3,500 and 5,000 feet. Right. When you got to put it in, I don't think so. Well, I, I had the experience building the 5,000 foot runway. Spent 10 years went to every FAA meeting in the state, and then like. So the setup cost was a big thing. The company got over hundred thousand dollars just to move on site. And then once they started pouring the concrete, the material wasn't. And once they were leveling it, they just went on down the run. We had forty four hundred feet and went to five thousand. And it was a lot of dirt work because there was a hill. And the cost, let me say, per square foot yard is once you're there and you got the equipment set up, well, it's, it's not that much more to go to the five. But you could go the 30, say 44,000, just to give the safety factory, and then always extend it. You purchase the last one. I mean, you could get another grant later on, just because the runways are solid every 10 foot. Mm -hmm. So there's a joint there anyway. I'd be curious to see what it would be to like a 3,500 or 4,000 and then have the land acquired to, if you did ever add on there. And I think like Philip did that road <coughs> east or yeah, east of Hudson with those millions. Mm -hmm. I think that that would work. That turned out pretty good. But it's building the base that's gonna be the hard part to hold that. The runway I saw has a 35,000, it's similar to Pratt. Pratt has a 35,000 wheel capacity. And it's seven inches of concrete. So I'm not looking at that thing. There wasn't any steel in it. So do you think we need to figure out what the city's going to do, play, and then? That's what I was saying. We'll yeah. wait and see what the city's going to do. And then <clears throat> yes, sir. Wait, I wouldn't want to proceed with them. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't want to no. proceed without them saying You're right. yeah. we're done with yeah. it. That's why I ask them to get it with it or get out of it. Well, I wish they would do I mean, one way or the other, you know. When you have a good economic development division that's working to get industry and my thoughts are putting some space to the side of the runway for the future industrial. We already have a, the noise of our runway, so that's not a big environment. We have a place to develop buildings. That might be getting more like Carolyn in our first time. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, you, you talked to Carolyn, haven't you? Yes, I have. She, could, she wasn't very receptive of the She idea. then wasn't too receptive. <laughs> Really? When I was at an airport for 10 years in Russell, everybody that did anything in the county flew in. And they built the ethanol plant, five airplanes they owned. Yeah. Yeah. When the power plant burned down, the chief attorney flew in. I mean, it was just because I knew what was happening in the town because the people had sat there and talked about it, and they flew in and out. But, and that's getting to be more all the time. <coughs> I think it would be used more than what we think. And I mean, obviously, the air ambulance is, is important, but it needs to be next to the highway. Preferably in natural gas. Just a the line that feeds staff that runs right in the airport now. They get the new line in the morning. And decent power source. Nobody run off the end of the runway to home.
Well, I think the present time we'll wait and see what what the city staff is going to do, and then of course, and then we have a problem too. It's budgeting. You know, we'd be looking at uh, 2015 at the minimum, correct? Uh, well, we can do that at capital. Yeah, but I'm but I'm yeah, saying yeah, for budgeting yeah. purposes, it has to be. Well, if you're going to right. form an airport authority for budgeting purposes, it'd be 2015. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as far as if we started the project, we could use yeah, capital improvement. Capital improvement. Mm -hmm. And uh, thoughts at Topeka, they can change authorities midstream. Mm -hmm. They can change, but they won't change the check in the middle of the year. If it's made out to staff, then it goes to that sponsor. Right. The staff would sponsor to turn it over to the county sponsor and they would get But we would be able to, like if we started the project in Stafford County, we would be able to switch, if, you know, if, let's say if it's 2015, to the airport authority. Yeah, because they don't care. They want, right. they want, a, they want an entity. Basically just be a facilitator of the funds at that point. And they want an airport in Stafford. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Time. <coughs> to get over and clean out a building for the show set. <laughs> Turn the heater on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Rolled back into the capital fund every year, 
and I, I really believe that they're, it's at about, um, I think at about, uh, just at about half right now, spending, expending. It, it certainly would have to come out of a different line item because there's not enough, um, you'd have to kind of adjust the line items a little bit for next year anyhow. Um, and um, so, it, uh, to answer your question with, with some pulling funds out of, it, it certainly would work this year because I don't think you're going to have, it, there's not much left this year. Next year it would not if you, if you pulled it out of the right, if you went in the right columns because uh, the, the salaries wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't absorb that. Uh, but there's some pretty big other line items that would, would absorb that. And that would be entirely up to you guys too, if, if, if you, you know, if you decided that it would be something that you, you couldn't uh, do it to that degree for next year and then you did it in the following year, or I, that uh, flexible. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's a general consensus on the Chiefs, you know, we're not in it for the money. We don't do this job for the money, we do it for a service of the community. So, but with <coughs> am I the Steve leaving? And you know what? We're very, very capable of running our fire departments. We do it ourselves, anyway. So I think bringing this administrative issue to Steve, and he is the contact person with you guys. Mm -hmm. If we can't do it ourselves, make a difference to the So we do. We've got five pretty good station chiefs that work really, really well together. That talk to each other on sometimes a daily basis. So that you know that that group. Four years ago, that group never met. Never met. And that was not existing. And and they are there. We we meet quarterly. We met the other night, and uh, the group is is united. It's quarter experience. We've got between the five of us over seventy years. The background of both, both different ones. So. Okay. So who would be the lead? You choose a lead representative. But between the five of you? Have you done that yet? Or? No, not yet, but then we'll just we'll put it like this. I think Rob and I are going to be the game table. <laughs> we're going to be the test since we're yeah. more accessible to you, uh, mm -hmm. to you all, I think. So, so I mean, she I has a question she can All that I would ask too. is that you make sure I know. if I, You're going to change it every year. I need contact information for that person because if I don't have payroll, I don't have budget. Yeah. I need to know who to call. And, and I think if things run smoothly, it's going to be like, the whole FRA thing when we elect a new officer, we just keep electing the same officer. That <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably, you know, we, we, we just wrote the policy, so, yeah. so you'd at least have that option if it was unhappy. As far as decision making, it's going to be more like now, like you all have to vote it on. It's, it's, it's going to make the decisions of all of us, not just one or two wanting it. If it goes in, you don't do it. That's, that's the way I look at it. That's what I'm going to try to push for. And we're all agreed that, you know, when it comes to decisions, we're going to make the decisions as a group. So, so you have one goal. We have one goal. Yeah, so this is the best for the department. Right. What looks good for us? What's going to help us? Is this going to help us in the long run, or is this going to hurt us in the long run? So we've already been doing that. And this is your on undesirables that have gotten on the department that need to be off. We, it's been a voting census between all of us. Okay. But we can't carry it. Or no, we're getting ready to. And with that, there are a few personnel that we are going to have to look at towards the end of this year because we will be renewing our insurance for FRA that are not meeting the requirements that we set out as a relief association that we're going to have to look at it losing some of that dead weight. If you don't show up, you don't participate, then we're not going to pay your insurance policy. Unless I buy you gear. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Not, we're not going to outfit a firefighter with all this gear and it. it'd be brand new and not even worn. So. <laughs> So it's a consensus of the five of you that this is the way you like Five of us plus our assistant chiefs, so yes. Our assistant basically been on board with it, all the meetings too, and everything else that are part of it also. When you look at it, our assistant chiefs are in charge of what we're doing. They're on our station, so. And our firefighters answer them just like they answer us, mm -hmm. so. The only thing I see that might be a little gray area is <clears throat> where you're communicating or assisting with the EMS director. I mean, I hope that works. That won't be no problem. We're going to help EMS out to 
just like we've built DMS out for the last 20 some years. If they need us to come help, we'll come help. If they've got phone, give us a call, we'll be right there. I mean, that's we, we do know the right scenes all the time anyway. And we work hand in hand when it comes to an emergency situation. They're both mended together. That's all there is to it. I have confidence in you doing that. It's yeah. just, I'm not sure about the wording of that. You know, and I'm, this was just a draft. So, so, I mean, if it needs to be reworded, we'll reword it. Almost, but. almost somebody has to be in charge, I guess is what I'm saying. But. What, what, was, what was kind of the kind of word there was that um, they have some time. That, that group of four has some time to, to assist these guys with some, some, just some general things of, of getting some things done during the day. But I, I think they're still going to need to at least you know, touch base uh, because otherwise it, it'll be like they got they got uh, Davin or somebody out doing stuff and the EMS director said, well, where the heck's Davin? So they just need to maintain some good communications, you know, at the yeah. problem. But you can still say the lead representative is still the final say something. Well, you know, hey, we can get this done. We've got this, 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 this going on. I guys boarded this stuff from force in the past. Can you get a hold of this guy? See what you can do for us. I mean, it, if it's something we can't take care of ourselves, then yeah, we're going to go to the wall. One of the full time people, hey, see where we got this at and what it was, and kind of give us a rundown on it. So if we need to get something else, we can do it. And we're going to work well. I mean, it's, it's not going to be a question, of, we're not going to hate each other. This or lead, throw bullets at each other, but this lead person is really not really in charge of any of no. it. I mean, that's, I don't like that part of it myself because basically I, would, I don't want to be the lead. Me neither. <laughs> I'm just basically, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> It, they thought it was easier for us to come to you right. for it, the wishes of the board, basically. You know, and I, as far as being lead, I don't no, not okay, do that. Uh, I I got maybe the word lead is, is contact the uh, chief contact person. person. Well, that's kind of what we think. Kind of the contact yeah. the yeah. department and commissioners. Instead of doing, you know, one, we wanted to have that too, because usually it's him and I. I'm off on Wednesdays. He's here Wednesdays while well, he's on vacation. Uh, hey, you need to go take this job. Okay. No big deal. And vice versa, the tower. I mean, it's it's going to work out. And We're here to answer what, your questions, and if you have something to rise, we can try to get the information to get it back to you. Would, would you guys? Yes. We're Steve. Would, would you guys want uh, this reworded on compensation? That compensation will be looked at in the upcoming. Uh, I, I I didn't even know if you, if you wanted to, to kind of uh, bless the policy, and then, but first of all, tweak this. I could bring it back next week. Tweak with the compensation, kind of leaving that more open. I like the idea, uh, but I, you know, if it's not in the budget. It's not in the personal hate, side. I would hate to hang ourselves before we even start. We could put something relative to uh, compensations will be looked at uh, relative to time spent and address it uh, when able to. Is that acceptable? Well, it's going to matter to us one way or another. I mean, really. Well, then we could just leave it like that. And I, I can rewrite it and then have it done the next week, and then you can. I, mean, I don't have a problem with it. If, really if we problem. can make the dollars work with them and put them in the budget, I just, you know, that's. And you know, this amount was just the amount we just got. I mean, you don't have to do this amount. Mm -hmm. You know, and, but what, we were, what we're proposing for the chiefs and the assistant chiefs is what we would like. Right. I mean, that, that would seem fair. I mean, that bumps us up. And right now, the station chiefs get a hundred dollars uh, a month. So and we're, we're not choking on the this, dollars. This is no. we're, we're, well, that's just the, the rewrite of the where it comes from. The where it comes from. And like I said, which can be adjusted. Yes, yeah, this dollar amount here is it was something we threw out to put on paper. And it we is it very, 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 very negotiable. Could be reviewed yearly. Yeah. Prior yeah. to budget yeah. time. Exactly. So the lead representative's job is mostly just to come to the board. Correct. With the consensus of their uh, the chiefs. So some of the things, you know, Spokes whether you whether you use Spokes that uh, whether you use the the, the the EMS department personnel, but there are some things that you're going to have to be doing some calling on and, and just to, in general uh, that that wouldn't be necessarily station dependent. That'd be more service dependent. And then I would see this person. Probably get that. Those those <coughs> tasks too. It's not like we're not in town every day. 
This this is just a rewrite of uh, of the assistant fire director. Since we wouldn't have that, I just uh, I, I just changed to just assistant director, and um, and, and that would uh, and I left the permit again there. So I, I even think that maybe um, maybe Davin's position, um, and this might be something for Joseph to take up Andrew at too. But um, keeping you know like keeping the the two separate roles when you're an emergency responder and when you're not an emergency responder. We delineate that pretty clearly, and I, I, I don't know anything about finance law at all, so I don't know, if, but I assume that that's why we do that. So you have two different categories of, of work, and 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 Davin's job is, is the only one that really doesn't do that, so I might need to look at that one and see if I can change that title, because I think it's his firefighter, which it probably ought to be something like administrative assistant to go along with the other position because we got the EMS uh, assistant EMS director, we had the assistant fire director, and then we had firefighter. And I think that firefighter probably should be um, the administrative assistant for, for his day job, and, and that way it doesn't kind of blend into being the same, one of the same. But on this one here, I think it, it has to be defined as paramedic for the salary that it that it gets. For assistant director, so I, I just kind of took just a couple things out of there that that, uh, that were related to uh, having any administrative uh, oversight of the station chief. So that one is, is there if you're looking at. You can uh, certainly look that over, and, and then I don't know. Do they need to vote on that? Wait. But but not today. Yeah, yeah. let's hold off to figure out exactly what we're sure. going to do. But so, so that's there for another one. Um, this is going to look like I just put the whole gallery table together, and I actually did. But, um, but I did want to at least um, share the, and, and you don't even need to look at these today. You, 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 might want to, you, you may not have one look at them. <laughs> but at least, at least I, um, I tried to print off all, all of our policies and any agreements that we had as relative to fire, and then the same thing uh, with EMS. And EMS is going to have a lot more than fire because it has protocols. And so that's, and, and this is all on Dropbox, so if, you, if you'd want to, if you'd rather look at it and just toss these back in the, in the recyclables, you could do that. But that's, that's just um, information relative to that. And um, and then I also put uh, put together, and, and Nita can kind of distribute these, but e everything that we've done as far as annual reports, any special reports uh, relative like city, county, fire, uh, the tornado report, uh, in anything that we've done on papers, I only had many copies of that up there. So there's a copy for each of you for that. And I think that is, so I, I was going to share with you, this is something we've been working on, it's, it's been a, work in progress uh, for some time, but it, uh, it looks like it's, it's just kind of like about maybe got to a point where maybe it'll be accepted, um, but it's a zone map. And um, if we never get our CAD system up, it would really be helpful because the dispatchers could enter an address and it would automatically fill on the screen. And so, you know, when they get an address, they can put it in. If it's if it's 410, it automatically fill, and then you have to figure out where it was. All the red, all the red highlighted lines are, are the black tops in, in the county. Um, and I think that's that's that. We, we had these bigger, um, and they just weren't very compatible. To even getting out and looking at, we had them colorized, and that looked like it was really pretty. Big. Made it where you couldn't already see it. Uh, we had 16 zones instead of 20, and the guys in Stafford really wanted their town divided when they go down that highway to be able to go right and left. Uh, we had our numbers too little, and the boxes you couldn't already read them unless you had really good eyesight. And so I, I, I think we're right about we finally got it to where it's going to be usable. Uh, that, I believe, I just had, had about. 20 minutes in executive session, um, unless these guys have anything more before I go to that. If you don't have any questions, 
that thing's very, very negotiable, very, very flexible. So, it's just, there won't be just a draft you that idea what we'll do that one. Yeah. 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 Well, I appreciate your support. Yep. Very good. So, support one way or another, whatever is decided. Like you said, BMS, I mean, we work hand in hand, whether it's Rob and I working accents or Rob and I as fire chiefs working a fire scene, and we need to, I mean, we work hand in hand. It's just the way it is they go together. But we will help them out, whatever we can do. If we're not going to shut them out. Right 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 <laughs> we're, we're going to help them. Mm -hmm. I'm confident in that. It's worked well. So. And I think it will continue to work well. Sharp, sharp guys. <clears throat> So, if I could ask for an executive session for 20 minutes uh, to uh, talk about uh, not much personality. I'm not going to go into executive session for 20 minutes. Rob, do you have a big battle rustling case? Thank you, guys. Yeah, I think he wanted it. I, I got a letter from somebody that said, let me drop all the charges. They'll help us solve the big battle rustling case. Step five, <coughs> as well as Tom Fisher for eight. 
range six, range eight, step six, to range eight, step seven. Second. Oh, okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything new and exciting? We're thinking of forming a board to interview for Steve's position. I was wondering if you would like to serve on that interview mm -hmm. process. We're rough drafted. <laughs> And that we were splitting the fire, basically split his job apart. So you know, the fire would stand on their own with representatives within their organization to come meet with us. Do you have any pluses or minuses to that? Or? Oh, it, you know, I've worked too long enough. It used to be that way. You had the fire. Right. And as long as you don't have six different fire chiefs wanting my dispatch to do six different right. things, they have no problem. But they're going to have one just focus on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. and, and they would decide this amongst the board of themselves, right. the fire chiefs. <clears throat> I don't have to talk about it all as long as one person to right. have the final say so. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, I've got the dispatch opening. Today's last day for applications, and I've only got five. Five? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Where are you I, I feel your pain. It's not like I told her. I mean, that's, that's she, gets a, she gets that work days, and that's, yeah. I don't blame her at all. Yeah. She did a very good job. Midnight dates, get old. Are you filling in or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been a while since I've been well, there. That's great. Five is a pretty good number, though. Isn't it? <laughs> well, that's a better. Yeah. Than, uh, with five. And how yeah. many did you have, Lisa, in the view interview? Have applic or taking applications? Well, ones that were bondable? Or? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'm saying that's just it. Yeah, you have to get that too, or not? No, no, but I can tell you some of them probably have been clients. <laughs> yeah, you got KBI background too. Yeah, yeah I got that, that in a lot of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know, they, they know. It's always something. They know the system. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell you hi from Sandy Burks. <laughs> well, she, she, no, she, she thought you would probably not know her name. Right? <laughs> she was right. Yeah, she, right. she was married to your nephew at one time. Oh, from Great Man. Well, uh, uh, Lauren. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she said you wouldn't recognize the last name right now. <laughs> Fire chiefs want to come in. <laughs> Still? No, we just needed to have something clarified, okay. if we could. Um, with Steve retiring, we'll leave that to whatever. We'll leave. Yeah, whatever. However, we're going to look at. He has a name shield for his helmet that's made out with his name, and he has a uh, tail piece on his jacket. They can't be reused by anybody. Normally, what we've done in the past is kind of put them on a shadow box or a plaque or something. Cool. And because he is a chief officer, he does have a badge. It's kind of the same thing with his badge. I mean, it's but specific we were just making sure we'd be able to... Joe, we talked to Joe. Joe says since it is county property, we need to buy it from the county, though. For like a minimal, like a dollar. dollar. Mm -hmm. And so the artillery fund with the FRA will we'll purchase it for him. And then we'll cool. get it to her. That's, that, that's nice. Okay. And just the, everybody's want to do it for EMS and fire boats. So just a little... I do want to clarify the other issue what we were talking about. Is that thing? Go ahead. It's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like the pay with the compensation of the that turn the around like the lead person there. We like spokesperson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's do it this way. Scratch that bottom amount out there. It's not right. 
I mean, if it's going to force us, we're not going to be able to pair our assistant chiefs. And, no, we don't want that. Let's do you know, our 200 for our chiefs, our 100 for our assistant chiefs. And it's going to be him and I. And I can tell you, it's going to be him and I every December to get reelected. It's just yeah, the way no one else wants to do it. Pay us 100 bucks and we'll split it. So you're going to pay us 250 each. Just to do it. If it needs to be more, it needs to be more, we'll address it later. We really personally don't care. Yeah. I said, we're not in for the money. But okay. to make all parties happy. Well, I mean, if, if still we've got to make sure it's yes. in the budget. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that but, was my only hang up with yeah. that. Yeah. But if it's in the budget. I told him and told him, I don't like this lead person. Yeah. Yeah. Neither do I. Well, I, 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 I. I like the spokesperson. I, I really like the that's all spokesperson. That's all we yeah. address. You know, we would come and tell them what the, you know, because we're, we're, we're here. That's the only convenience. Yeah, you know, the, we're, they're using us because we're convenient. The other district yeah. chief runs a, a, a tire station. The other one works at a great bend. The other one, the other one owns a tire. Runs business. a mechanic shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then our assistant chiefs all work. So it's just easier for us because we are county employees and we're right. a whole lot more accessible. Can you talk to us about You can call that position the board yeah. spokes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I think once things are clarified, well, we're, well, we're not in charge. We're not doing anything okay. different. Okay. Okay. I don't. Well, I just want to make sure there are none. All we're doing is making sure we'll talk to it myself. I mean, that's all. Okay. But the part of being in charge, no, I don't want to. No, we're all, all five of us in charge. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's why you got a bigger badge than I have. I have uh, enough uh, on my own without having to take on something. I we, have, yeah. we have one one goal, and that's the safety and, and yeah, the it's safety, safety and and, 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 and our personnel. Right. Make sure it's done right. So, all right, all right. we'll get out of here. Thanks. Very good. Okay, I need to go get Carl. All right. Because, um, can we call that out there? Yeah. The biodiesel bio place bio is wanting to DNX that property out there. So, we are need they, to. Are they actual property owners or did they lease it? I don't know. That's no, why we need Carl. They, they, they bought it. Bookstores sold it to them. Yeah. Do they own it? Yes. yes. I know they're getting ready to There's auction it, right? Because once upon a time when they did the annexation, by the way, you cannot annex for like five years. I mean, it's basically an annexation is, you know, that's it until the property is de-annexed, which can occur. It's a whole procedure for de-annexing. But the essential prerequisites of DNX properties, you have to have permission to send all the landowners. So Let these guys are the sole owners of this property. That's really not going to be a problem. But when the property is actually annexed, I remember the bookstores. Oh, telling the property about the annexation. He needs to come down They did buy it out, though. Yes. I think well, one time they had an auction. But so they exercised that. My auction. question, since they're getting ready to auction this next Monday the 14th. I'm about to say, when the property changes hands, if the new owner, new owner doesn't want it DNX, hmm. <laughs> so what? I mean, do we? I don't. Do we start this process now? Well, there, there's you got to have a public hearing. Right. So I'll pull out the statute book and point you to you know the procedure. But uh, I got news for these folks. It's not going to happen today. Cause you got you have notice of a public hearing. There's three different tracks too. Though. So it's you could have three different. An 86 acre tract in the south half of 42413. Well, you got to keep in mind that since they bought it, they sold six acres of it. So whoever has the six acres, you need well, that's handled entitled because that matches up right against my property. Is entitled to notice. Yeah. So do I have to give the notice, or do yeah. you? Yeah. No, you you do. But the, the thing is, I'm trying to point out to these folks, I, they may labor under the misapprehension that they can simply send this in and it's going to be rubber stamp. The answer is no. You've got to send notice out to the owners. you got to put the notice in the newspaper and you, know, you put it on your agenda. And, you know, kind of like open air closing a roof, you know, same, same kind of thing. I remember when they did that. It would have been, what, 2000, I don't think. Yeah, it's been a while. How are we doing? Good, you? All right. So, I guess, Joe, what, what do I need to do? Well, yeah. I'll, I'll show you the, what the notice, you know, 
Do I need to send a letter to the people that own that six acres? Yeah, but well, you send them a notice, but the same as you're going to publish in the newspaper. It's like opening or closing a road. Very simple. I've never done that. Oh. Joe, here's what. Jim, this is what we did back in two, when we talked about that when they annexed this in. This here is it shows the DA annexation. You, you can't. I mean, I mean, it's up to the county commissioners, and the county commission would be real bastards and not grant it. Although typically, if all the landowners were asking, yeah, this guy gives. How much you want to read that? See the cell bill don't mention anything in this track. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, it was, it? Yeah, it, yeah, because they've got 97 acres that they're selling. And on here, they want the annex 86. Well, because that's what the legal yeah. description yeah. got eight. There's the first page of what they get. And what this one at, you talk about the, the, that auction. This is actually, can I give you a map? <laughs> okay, this is actually, they own and you're right, their map is wrong. It doesn't pull this 6.2 right. out. But they do own, that's in the city limit, they do own this number one up here, and they own this number four. Oh, so they've got to clear up past Cody's. Yeah, see, I didn't realize that. I pulled Cody's this back out. That. <laughs> they have, so they, they own this number four? Uh -huh. so, so one, one, four, four, and then the big 2.01. I, I still got that. Annexation ordinance on my bulletin board down. Uh, the I can see Cody Falls on that. It's also lying right there. Was that? Yeah. yeah. I did that wet clear to that right. So is that still a street in Carl? Um, I'm not sure. If, yes, because it doesn't show that it's vacated on there. I'd have to look at the city one. But. Uh, Over the edge. We are over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Building. Yeah, building. It's right through it This is our old map. This is what we did here. This was the old map. This is where we had to bring the city limits down. You see it down there and then it comes back up. And so what this would be is Hopefully you get a letter or a request from is it Hample, I think. I believe that's about that. Um, to, to bring that whole thing back in. But like in your in your letter of your request, because I thought at first they messed up, because it just talks about the south half of quarter, right? In the legal. But this is in the north part, so and they, and then they're not gonna that was always in the city line. So so that would be correct, except for that's six eight. They, <laughs> It's gonna be hard to sell something. And this is, and I don't know if you're saying this is the auction brochure, and this is exactly what what Shane was talking about. See, they should have a little breakout right there. there. Yeah. Let's see, theirs don't go up any higher, like yours does. Mm -hmm. Are you sure Actually, that's the, right? Yeah, that's the parcel they own right here. They pay no. taxes on it <laughs> because that Cody building's even in. Biodiesel. <laughs> Cody better buy that. That's selling as a separate track, right? No, this is selling all. I think they're all selling. Yeah. The only thing they separate is that it. 25 acres. Where's, the, where's that at? Where's right that? over along the highway. Oh, right yeah. over the, uh, the overpass. Right off the. Okay. Okay. Well, I might not have any access to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's interesting. So it's amazing how some of these auctioneer companies are screwed up. Legal, isn't that right, Lisa? Well, I called I called Jim Froschner on it, and I asked him. I said, Jim, there's a stake out there in that corner. And well, he, good. Well, he said he was going to call. He did. But we, so you the one got to go in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said, Well, I don't. Work. Well, to take six acres off of a, a sale. But it was still not right on their acres then. Mm -hmm. Because they're, where's your sell bill at? It says 96 or 97 acres. 
All announcements made day to the same. 124 acres. Around one twenty five. But they didn't got that much. No. Okay. Well, they got more than they did last year. Well, yeah, now on their little map, they fixed it. In, in their annexation ordinance, they identify this tract of land. The description goes on oh, forever, yeah, they did. But, it, but it's 96.763 acres. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, it seems. Unless they're going to the, so the right of I'm, I'm just going off of, you know, yeah, so yeah. Going unless they're going off the right of the annex. You know. Is that really a word? Uh, well, let's see what, what we have to do here. So I pointed out the time that you know what city I'm breaking to you, you got to comply with 12-504 if you're going to DNX anything. I mean, I got that. I've studied it. I have had it practically memorized. Dan, what's the third paragraph, first line? Uh, and those are the first two years, one of our five years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever the governing body of the city, blah blah blah, or whenever the owner or owners. Blah blah blah. Uh, really say that? Well, no, we, we have lives here. We don't. We're not going to, you know, use all this stuff. I have one of those. Thank you. Can you put something right in the middle there? That way, the whole table be covered with paper. <laughs> okay. Such notice <laughs> shall be published at least one time, <laughs> twenty days prior to the date of the hearing. Such notice shall state oh, yeah. that a petition oh, yeah. filed yeah. 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 praying yeah. for yeah. whatever the annexation. If you're talking about 12 504, it's that's one of the outreach deals. I mean, there's not very any place to stay. I got the last room in the Holiday Inn, they said. Really? Yeah. ridiculous. I got the water pond. Or water walk or whatever it's called. <laughs> I got to change this one. <laughs> I tried to call for next year's conference to get rooms. They're not moving yet. Yeah. Where's it at? Same to, place. Uh, it's back to which time? Mm -hmm. It's after the conclusion. After you go back to the room. No, she said it would probably be 505. 504. It's 504. It's 505. On I do. He's going to all these games three approved. Have you seen what they estimated? The appraiser, the auctioneer appraised the ground, what they think they're going to get out of it. What they put on it. I can't tell you verbatim, but I, it was way more than what they're going to get at that time. More than 5,000 an acre or something? Yeah. Really? It was crazy, I thought. Do you know about why they did that? Is the city of Warner just purchased? 40, 35 acres from a, a landowner to put a housing authority on, and they get 5,000 an acre. That's why I guess that. They got it from cars. Yeah, that's why I thought they're using that. Do you want to well, I'm going to recuse what? myself if you have any motions on this because I'm a shareholder of the oh. Bible so. You're what's that? I'm a shareholder of the Bible Oh, you are? <laughs> so if you make any annex motions, I'll probably not vote. <laughs> I'm a neighboring person. Do we need this? This doesn't need to be. Do they session. need to? There will be no decision made today on this with them. Well, that's so they could adjourn. Mm -hmm. yeah, basically, us three that are. Well, you know, okay. we, there has to be a notice and you know, all the right. people you want that involved. Okay. <laughs> I'll be at the meeting when you tell me to be there, Carl. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And of course, when they said that little thing they gave us, what we want a DNX, they didn't have a legal description. Did anybody say On this, that? it says mm -hmm. a tract, an 86 acre tract in the south half of the 2413. See, this is what we're